Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to quickly talk about what's on my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. For example, what widgets I use, what kind of setups I use in the phone itself, and also some of the apps I use to customize my smartphone. So I want to show you what I have in case you want to replicate or pick some of the pieces that I use to customize and use my own Galaxy S9 Plus. And of course, the entire video also applies to the Samsung Galaxy S9, no problem. Now, one question I do get a lot is, what's the widget that I use on my home screen? Now, this widget here is an extremely customizable widget with multiple components, and it's called the HD widgets. It's not free, it's a couple bucks to actually grab. But once you have it, it's yours for life and it's fully customizable. So basically, let me just remove that really quick. I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. So when you go to the widgets, after you download the HD widgets, it's gonna show up in your widget screen. And if you scroll over, and it's right over there. So if you tap it, you can pick any size you want and you have multiple sizes, okay? And what, what I like to do is I like to grab the four by two. So in this case, I grab a four by two over here, I dump it on the screen, and that launches the customization screen uh, from where you have many, many options. The first massive option is the thing on the top here from where you can actually pick the different modules that the HD widgets offer. So you can have these uh, glass gems and you can uh, scroll through different uh, formats over here. Uh, what I like to use is either color form or Cairo. Okay, so if you go to color form over here, that's the one that I was using just a minute ago, but you can also pick different uh, versions of that. And again, all the colors are customizable. And also you can use the Cairo uh, over here, which is also a nice looking design. So this is also one that I use uh, quite occasionally. So let's go to color form really quick. Let me just show you exactly how I set mine up. So what I like to do is I like to have a couple, couple stats at the bottom and a clock on the top. So I go over here and I pick the one that says a uh, header with indicators. So you get the clock, you get the date, you got the battery and a couple other things at the bottom here. And quickly, uh, you can go over here at the bottom and you can change the background to any color that you want. I like to pick something that contrasts with the background that I'm using at the time or just pick anything you want. You can also change the opacity of that so I can make this completely visible, a little bit transparent if I want to, or completely invisible. Uh, it's all up to you. You can customize the way you like it. So let me just keep it at, the, at this range here, 55, 60, or 70. I like that range. And the other couple things you do is you can change the clock over here so I can uh, grab these, these different kinds of clocks. This is the one that I do like normally to use. So the R is bolded and the minutes are not. And then you can change every single thing at the bottom here. I'm not gonna show you every single thing, uh, but if you do go to indicators, you can, you can even change which indicator you want to use uh, on your uh, indicator row over here, okay? So let's apply this. And once it's on the desktop, you can actually resize it so it gets uh, centered on the screen, and then it looks absolutely fantastic. Now, I do want to let you know, if you do go to the store, the Play Store, and you download the purchase and download the HD widgets, you would have to download the other components like the color form, Cairo, Cairo HD, uh, other color form individually, okay? And then they're going to show up inside the widgets screen. So that's one thing. The other thing I like to do with my smartphone is like, I like to look, have a minimalistic look. So you only have a clock, a background, and a bunch of apps I use all the time. Uh, one thing I like to do is I like to have one home screen. Again, you just pinch and you create these if you want to. You just click plus and it comes right up. Uh, I like to create a blank screen. Sometimes I like it this way because I want to see the wallpaper in its full glory, depending on the wallpaper. Uh, sometimes I like to see it this way. So what I do is I have these two uh, home screens, one with a clock and some indicators and one without the clock. And what I do is right now my home screen is set to be this guy, but sometimes I go over here, pinch the screen and tap on the home button on the top and this becomes my main home screen. So if I have a really, really good wallpaper, uh, I can see it's in its full glory, okay? And then if I want to see the clock or something, it's already up there, but if I want to see some more details, I can swipe right over, boom, it's right there. But again, if I get bored, I can always go back, pinch here, and make this my home page. So that's one thing I like to do. And of course, uh, I don't like too much app clutter on my home pages, so I don't keep any apps on the home pages. What I do 
is I have five frequently used apps at the bottom here. And then if I want to go and uh, look for an app, I just, you know, go to the app drawer. Uh, but the big thing is I use the edge screens uh, to keep my other most used apps and folders. So if I pull down my, uh, pull in my edge screen, and again, you can have the edge screen on any side that you want. I like to keep it on this side. So I swipe it in. And then here I have the apps edge panel added over here. Uh, onto which I've added all these apps and folders that I use all the time. And of course, I like to color code my folder. So if I if the Saki Tech folder here is in red right now, I can just tap that button and I can just color code that to whatever I want. Again, I can tap this guy, it gives you the color wheel, and I can pick the red color, as you can see. So I like to color code them and I like to put everything in a nice and organized folders. I'm still building these folders. So this is the finance folder, for example with my bank accounts this is the shopping folder with my shopping locations that i use all the time and then you have the media into which i can dump in things like netflix amazon prime crunchyroll youtube and all that good stuff and some other apps i use on a consistent basis so i make sure that i keep this in the apps edge panel and that's the first panel then i have a bunch of other panels like the weather uh the smart select that allows you to uh, select you know, the screen, for example, if I want to select a part of the screen in a circular fashion, I can tap this guy and then I can just take screenshots of anywhere on the screen in any format. OK, so that's the one like I like to use. And of course, I have um, the calculator panel that you can download from the App Store, not the App Store, from the Edge Panels Store. And then, of course, you have the uh, quick tools, the ruler, compass, and the flashlight right over here. But mainly I use this one here for my apps so I can keep my home screen nice and clean. Now, in case you're wondering, when you do go to the edge panels, if you tap on uh, edit, you can change the way which apps you want to put in there. And of course, you can to create a folder. All you do is you grab and hold one of these guys, put it on top of the other, and it creates a folder. You give it a name. Let's just say X for now and you give it a color and that becomes a folder. OK, just so you know. And of course, you want to uh, delete the folder. You can just tap on delete. Now it's gone. You can add back your uh, apps right here, which is great. And uh, if you want to, of course, change the edge panels, I have full tutorials on that. I'm going to drop a link down below so you can go check it out. But you just go to the settings and from here you can add or remove panels. And if you tap on download, you can grab some extra panels that you might actually enjoy using. I like to get the free ones and you have a lot of these, okay? So that's that. Now, one more app I really, really like to use is called the Tape It app. It's a wallpaper generator app. It's free. So go to Tape It. Let me just uh, bring it over here. And basically, this is almost like a magical little thing. So all you do is swipe up and down and it generates wallpapers for you. So if I swipe this way, it's going to give me a new pattern. If I swipe this way, I get a new pattern. If I swipe this way, I get a new pattern. So what happens here is if you swipe to the right, it changes the color but keeps the pattern. So I can swipe to the right and it's going to give me a different color uh, combination with the same pattern. I can keep doing that forever and it's going to generate all kinds of different colors. Uh, if I swipe to the left, what happens is it changes the actual pattern. So it will uh, go through all these nice little patterns. And if I swipe up, it's going to give me something completely different, okay, completely randomized. And I can swipe down as well uh, to go back to the previous pattern. So this is an application you should download. It's free to have. It does have some premium features. You can actually download and, uh, and get even more patterns. But the free version itself is enough to give you a good time. So let me go back here and get a nice pattern. So, okay, so that one, so if I click this, it changes the wallpaper in the background. So if I go back out, boom, the wall changers, wallpaper is now changed uh, to what uh, I just chose. So that's the tapered application. It's a fantastic application. Uh, you have other options. You can tap over here, and I just showed up. Uh, you can tap the color options. You can pick individual colors that you desire uh, for the pattern that you're using at the time. Or you can tap this guy here and you can, uh, it's generating previews right now. So you have all these nice options. Okay, so if I was to, uh, if I wanted this as my background, I could just tap on it 
boom, and then I click this guy, and it goes right into the background as you can see. So that's the Tape It application. And one thing with Tape It is it downloads nothing. Everything is custom generated. And of course, there's more options here. You can play with this. I'm not going to go into the details, uh, but that's absolutely fantastic. All right, let's pick something that's nice over here. Now, the other thing I do is I do with Bixby. So basically what I have done is I have disabled two things. I have disabled the Bixby uh, Home because I don't actually use it. And I have disabled, uh, when you press this button, it does not bring Bixby Home over to me. What I have been using this button for is, if I do press and hold, uh, let me just show it this way, it is gonna bring up Bixby Voice, and I can start, oops, uh, I can start talking commands into it. So let me just give you one example. So uh, if I press and hold here, show me the current weather in New York. So I can use Bixby uh, this way as I please, uh, but I don't have the Bixby Home actually enabled. So you just pinch over and you disable it or you can enable it like this. Now, if you wanna do the way I did it, enable this for a second and then go inside it. Uh, tap on this button over here. And as you can see, the Bixby key can be disabled. So if you disable this, if, if this is enabled, anytime you press this, the Bixby Home comes to you. But if you disable it, anytime you press this, nothing happens, okay? And on top of that, what I do is I go to the settings over here, and I wanna make sure that the Bixby voice is in fact enabled. So this is, should be always enabled if you want to use Bixby. Now you can always invoke Bixby by saying, hi Bixby, but I have also disabled that for now. So when I say hi Bixby, nothing happens. The only time Bixby shows up is when I press and hold this button and then I can give commands to it. And of course, there's a lot of commands you can throw at Bixby. You can say things like this, turn on the flashlight. And it turns on the flashlight. You're not gonna see it right now, but it is in fact on at the bottom. And uh, you can also say things like this, turn off the flashlight. Or you can say things like this. You can make Bixby do anything in your settings, which is what I use it for. So I can go to the settings and I can say, uh, change the screen timeout to five minutes. It's gonna go into that setting and it's saying, actually the screen timeout is already set to five minutes, uh, which was this option uh, right over here. Okay, somewhere over here, there we go. But you can change all these settings with Bixby. For example, uh, I have the screen mode here in adaptive. I can change that to basic just by talking to Bixby. I can modify any setting in here that I want, all right? So I can say like, um, show me the performance modes. And they'll take me to device maintenance, it's gonna show me all the performance modes and I can select the one I want or I can just talk and the Bixby will do it for me. So I can say, I can press and hold and I can say, change to entertainment mode. Okay, and I can do that from anywhere. So instead of pressing five buttons to go into that setting to make that change, I can just press and hold and I can say change to entertainment mode and boom, it's done. Okay, so that's how I use Bixby. Other couple of things I wanna talk, talk about that I have done on my phone is if, I, if you do go to the settings, uh, if you go to the uh, display, I like to keep my, my screen resolution at full high definition plus. So that's the resolution number. I don't keep it over here because it's gonna eat more battery life this way. And over here, it's gonna reduce the quality, but this is a nice, sweet spot. So it gives you high quality, sharp graphics, and also gives you good battery life. And that's basically um, all the basics that I do on my smartphone. Uh, if you wanna learn more about the actual smartphone, I have just created a video that gives you 150 plus tips and tricks uh, on your smartphone that basically is gonna allow you to master your smartphone. I'll drop a link to that down below as well. In that video, I go over things like the secure folder, which is this thing right over here. So secure folder is this secret files folder that I created. If I tap on it, uh, it's gonna ask for a password. And basically when you put the password in, it will go into all the videos, photos, apps, messages, uh, documents that you want to hide from other people you can put it right here. So if I do put the pin in and I go inside, uh, you'll see that that's my secure folder home screen. Everything that you see here is secret, all right? So if you wanna see how this is done, you can go watch that other video. Uh, but that's basically everything that I wanna do. Let me exit here, uh, switch to home, 
goes right back to the actual home screen. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop a comment below, and I will drop the links to the apps I talked about in this smartphone down below as well. And of course, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come. Give this video a thumbs up, and of course, have a fantastic day. And one more thing, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, uh, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates. All right, have a fantastic day.